Hi, welcome back to machine learning tutorial. In this video, we will understand how to apply backpropagation algorithm to find optimal weight vector in multilayer perceptron network. Backpropagation algorithm takes five inputs. The first input is a training example. Each training example is a pair of the form x, t where x is a vector of network input values and t is the vector of target network output values. n is the learning rate. Uh, it is usually set to a small number. In this case, uh, I have given an example like uh, 0 0.05. It should be set as small as possible and uh, if you want to converge to the uh, output faster, then in that case you need to set a higher number. ni is the number of uh, network inputs n hidden is the number of units in the hidden layer n out is the number of output units the input from unit i into unit j is denoted by xji in uh, back propagation algorithm similarly the weight from unit i to unit j is denoted as wji we will see this particular thing uh, when we construct a network uh, in the next slide this is the entire algorithm of uh, back propagation algorithm First, we need to create a feed forward network with ni inputs, n hidden hidden units and n out output units. Uh, after that, we need to initialize all the network units to a small random number. So first, we will see how to create a feed forward network with these number of uh, units. For understanding purpose, I have taken uh, ni is equal to 3, that is uh, 3 units in the input layer n hidden is equal to 2 that is uh, 2 hidden layer units and uh, n out is equal to 2 that is uh, 2 output layer units in this case x1 x2 x3 are the inputs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 are the units in this case next we need to uh, assign the weights uh, as well as the inputs here the input from unit 1 to unit 4 is denoted as uh, x41 that is nothing but x1 in this case so x1 is known to us that is uh, denoted as x41 in back propagation algorithm similarly weight from 1 to 4 is denoted as w41 with the same note uh, the input from unit 2 to unit 4 is denoted as x42 and the uh, weight is denoted as w42 in this case the same thing goes with all the edges over here now uh, we need to assign some uh, input and uh, weight to these particular edges also. The weight from uh, unit 4 to unit uh, 6 is W64. Similarly input is X64. The same thing goes with all the edges here. Now in this case uh, we know what is the value of X1. The same thing is assigned to X41, X51. And we know the value of X2 that is assigned to X42 and X52 x3 is known to us that is assigned to x43 and x53 but we don't have any value or direct input to this uh, unit 4 and 5 so we don't have any uh, values to x64 x74 x65 and x75 so what we do here is we will calculate the output of these units and those output will be given as an input to this particular 6th and 7th unit and finally, we will come up with the output here that is uh, 06 and 07 are the outputs over here. Now, this is how uh, we can construct the feed forward network. Uh, once you construct it for every uh, weight, we need to assign some uh, random weights. Uh, you can assign any value in the range of uh, minus uh, 1 to plus 1. It should be a very small number. Uh, randomly, we need to assign the weights. And uh, in every iteration, we go on modifying these particular weights unless and until we are happy with these particular outputs here. Next is uh, we need to perform these particular four steps until the termination condition is satisfied or met. That is uh, the termination condition may be the number of epochs. Uh, you need to perform these particular four steps. Uh, let us say that some uh, 50 number of times that is the number of epochs or uh, you want to perform these particular four steps. Uh, let us say that unless and until you satisfied with the error rate maybe let us say that you are expecting uh, an error of uh, less than five percent unless and until you have error more than five uh, percent you need to perform these steps once you achieve the error which is less than five percent you can stop it so that is one example here now what to do in this particular step is for each x comma t that is for each training example we need to perform these steps 
So what is that we do? Propagate the input forward through the network. That is, input the instance x to the network and compute the output OU for every unit U in the network. That is, you need to give each instance to the network and you need to calculate the output of every unit in the network. Uh, I'll just show you that particular thing, how it will be calculated. Uh, first, what we need to do is uh, we have these input and weight vectors. Input is directly given from the uh, instances and the weight is assigned randomly here. We need to take these particular things and then we need to calculate the output of uh, the fourth unit and fifth unit. That is the first unit of a hidden layer and the second unit of hidden layer. So how to calculate it? To calculate this particular thing, uh, we need to take uh, the summation of uh, linear combination of uh, weight and input here. That is uh, uh, first uh, to this particular node that is fourth node, we have three edges coming here. That is the edge is coming from one, edge is coming from two as well as edge is coming from three. So we will take the linear combination of uh, uh, weight and input and then we will take the sum of those things and finally we apply sigma term here. So how it is done is x41 multiplied by w41 plus x42 multiplied by w42 plus x43 multiplied by w43 that is the summation term. Once you get the summation term we need to apply the sigma term here. Sigma of x is always equivalent to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus x. That is the sigma term. Once you apply that particular thing, you will get the output at this uh, particular node. So once you get the output at this node, we need to calculate the output at fifth node also. So again, we have uh, three edges to this particular fifth node. Uh, x51 multiplied by w51 plus x52 multiplied by w52, x53 multiplied by w53. So first we need to calculate this summation term and then we need to apply again what? The sigma d here. The sigma d is always equivalent to, I just write that particular equation here. Uh, the sigma d of uh, x is always equivalent to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus x. So whatever the value you get, uh, put that particular value in this x, you will get the sigma term. So you will get the output here. That is what actually I am trying to say. So once you get this particular output at uh, unit number 4 and unit number 5, they will be the input to this 6th uh, and 7th unit. So O7 is, uh, O4 is input to this particular edge uh, and this edge and O5 is input to this edge and this edge here. So how it is denoted? Uh, it is something like this. X64 and X74 is nothing but uh, O4. Uh, X65 and uh, X75 is nothing but O5 here. Now, you, you know the value of x64, x74, x65, x75 and we have already assigned random weights to these particular thing. We will use the same technique that is uh, we will take the linear combination of weight and input and then the sigma term to get the output at 6th uh, uh, node as well as 7th node. So that is what we have done here. This is the linear combination of uh, weight and input and then we will apply the sigma term. We will get the output at 6th node. So that is nothing but the uh, output here. Similarly, we will perform the linear combination of uh, uh, weight and uh, input and then sigma term to get the output at seventh node. So this is how we will propagate the input x1, x2, x3 till we reach the output at the end node. So this is the simplest procedure of uh, propagating the input to get the output here. The next step is to propagate the errors backward through the network. In this case, what we do is uh, we have already calculated the outputs here. Uh, once you calculate these particular outputs, uh, we need to calculate the error terms. Uh, once you calculate that particular error term, uh, the error term is propagated to all the hidden layer units. And uh, using that particular error term, we will try to modify these particular weights here. So that is uh, the thing what we do in this case. So what we do here is, uh, first we will calculate the error at the output unit and then we will calculate the error at the hidden unit. To calculate the error at the output unit, we use this equation. The equation in this case is delta k is equal to ok multiplied by 1 minus ok multiplied by tk minus ok here, where k is the output unit number. For example, if you want to calculate the error at the sixth unit, it will be something like this. Uh, delta 6 is equal to O6 multiplied by 1 minus O6 multiplied by T6 minus O6. O6 is the output and uh, T6 
T6 is the target that is the expected output. So using these particular values we calculate the delta 6. Similarly we calculate delta 7 also. So we calculate delta 6 here and then we calculate delta 7. Now once you calculate these uh, delta 6 and delta 7, uh, one thing we need to notice here is this delta 6 is due to the unit number 4 and unit number 5 because these two edges are coming towards it. Similarly this delta 7 is due to uh, unit number 4 and unit number 5. So what we need to do is we need to propagate this delta 6 to unit number 4 and unit number 5 as well as delta 7 to unit number 4 and unit number 5 here. So how to propagate? Another question is how to propagate this particular error backwards. To propagate that particular error backwards we use this equation. In this equation uh, we have OH that is the output at uh, hidden layer multiplied by 1 minus OH. H in this case you can take uh, the first time 4 and second time 5. So it will be delta 4 is equivalent to O4 multiplied by 1 minus O4. O4 is known to us, no issues. This particular term, here what we are trying to do is we are trying to propagate this particular delta K backwards uh, due to all the output units because uh, if you see here this particular uh, 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 the error at fourth unit is due to uh, the delta 6 also as well as delta 7 also. Similarly for this one delta 6 also as well as delta 7 here. So what we do here is we will uh, use this particular delta 6 and delta 7 both the units and we will multiply the weight vector of that particular edge so that you will get the error at the hidden layer. So we do this particular thing uh, two times because we have delta 4 and delta 5 to be calculated. Once you calculate that particular thing we got the errors at uh, the hidden layers also that is uh, delta 4 is available as well as delta 6, uh, delta 5 is available here. So we have calculated the errors at all the units now. Now the question is how did we got these particular uh, equations? These equations uh, are to be derived. Uh, I have already posted a video on this particular thing uh, how to derive these particular equations like uh, uh, delta K and delta H. Link for that video is given in the description below. Go through that particular video to understand how to derive these particular equations here. Now uh, we found the errors at uh, every unit. The next step is to use these particular weights to update these particular uh, weights in this case. Okay. Usually the uh, process is very simple. We use this particular equation. Delta uh, WJ is calculated and that delta WJI is added to the current uh, weight here that is uh, WJI is equal to WJI plus delta WJI. The question is how to calculate delta WJI. Delta WJI is calculated by uh, the learning rate. We know that particular value delta J that is uh, error at each unit we have already calculated. So we will multiply that and then XJI here. XJI is nothing but uh, the input. Uh, we use the learning rate the uh, error of that particular node multiplied by if you are calculating the weight for WJI we use XJI that is input. Using this we calculate the delta WJI and we add that particular thing to the current weight to get the new weight here. It may be the increment or decrement but we add, at, add this thing to the existing weight to get the new weight here. The same thing is repeated for all the weights. These are called as output uh, layer weights and these are called as hidden layer weights. All these particular weights are calculated. Once you calculate these particular weights, uh, next we need to uh, go back to this particular step. Uh, we need to check whether the number of epochs are reached or we have uh, uh, satisfied with the error. If not, we need to perform these particular steps again here. We need to uh, propagate that input instance uh, from input layer uh, node to output layer node. And then we need to calculate the error at the output layer. We need to calculate the error at the hidden layer. Using these two error uh, terms, we need to update this particular weights. The same process is repeated unless and until the termination condition is repeated here. So this is the very simple uh, uh, process with which we will be able to calculate the optimal weights for the units in multilayer perceptron network. I hope the concept of uh, backpropagation algorithm is clear. The derivation part of this uh, um, algorithm is uh, already done and it is posted. The link for that video is given in the description below. 
do watch that particular video to understand the derivation of these error terms if you like the video do like and share this video with all your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching